you will have seen this and I have filmed this a couple of years back on my channel where I've worn this with a pair of pants that I actually made and it's, it's like an olive green now I'm wearing like I said with these pants that I bought from the charity shop and like I said they are too big for me as you can see and I just wanted you to see how this falls on top like so but I'm going to tuck this inside my pants to give it a different look so that you can actually see how I'm styling it and how I keep wearing my things, my garments over and over again. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll tuck that into my pants and show you how I'm going to finally style it. Hello fashion servers, I hope you are fine. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Julie, and on my channel I do sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing. And this segment where I show you, I show off what I design, patterned and also sew. So the outfit that I'm wearing today is a pair of pants and also the top. I didn't make the pants, these are from a charity shop and they are actually two sizes too big for me. But I pulled it in with a leather belt and yes, this is how it looks. It's an elastic case at the bottom and I'm wearing it with some stiletto heels just to give it a bit of sex appeal. And what I like about this top in particular is this. This cute, cute flower. I've had this top for many years. I just want to show you the flower. See how it sits onto my body. Asymmetrical. And there's a strap. That's the side. I just love how, yeah, I really do love this top. I just like the effect the flower has on the outfit, sorry for that. <laughs> and yeah, three dimensional. It really captures the whole, how can I describe it? The effect of the pattern within the print of the fabric. Um, it's almost as though you can't really tell it's a flower because of the print so you can't really see the detailing of of the flower kind of petal effect of the flower which I really do like I really just um, yeah and this happens when you experiment all the time which I obviously love to do and if I was I would definitely make another one of these top with this particular type of fabric where there's a print and also um, you know I should actually make it another top like this without a print to it, just plain. So perhaps you can actually see the effect of that. But as you can see, I am loving it. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, just love it. Now you can see the shape of the top. Like so, my arms are down. Like I said, this is a, a top that I, drafted freehand onto the pattern basically because of the back wing sleeve effects as you can see I'm going to put my arm up and down and just keeping it quite narrow here you can play around with the back wing here you know whatever shape or how much volume you want to give it but yeah yes I love this top And as you can see, I've now tucked it into the pants and like I said, it's two sizes too big for me. And if you're gonna do this sort of thing and you don't want it to be too baggy at the back, the best thing is to pull your pants as firmly as possible to the front so that you've got the fullness into the front of your pants so that you get a better access into your pockets and then it doesn't look as big. It's meant to have a baggy look to it, but it doesn't look so it's going to be falling down off your body. So the way I am going to be styling this is with a, my sunglasses, as you know. And it's these ones. And the only jewelry that I'm wearing are these bangles. I would have worn these earrings but I don't have pierced ears 
and I bought these from a charity shop and they are for pierced ears but I'm going to put some clip-ons onto these and show you how I do that with I've done that with a few of my earrings because you just get better earrings when they are for pierced ears and I will finish this outfit with this bag this basket weave effect bag and a little bit carry it like this so that I can pose in my pockets or I don't think I'll put this on my shoulder unless I have to but it'd be more than less I will be carrying that bag. I do that these days with most of my bags if it needs to be carried in my hand and it's a shoulder strap bag then this is the way I would wear it. So this is me, my outfit for today and also my outfit for the week. So please do share this video and please do give it a, a, a thumbs up and do make a comment below if you enjoyed this video and you want me to keep on doing a lot more videos like this where I show you what I design, pattern and also sew.